Hey guys, Red Pen Money here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, you guys may notice, I'm in a different area. I'm actually in an Airbnb right now in a totally different country. Can you guys guess where I am? I am in Taiwan right now, and I have received a package here from ASL Miner, Dot com. <laughs> they shipped this to my Airbnb here. I'm actually here for another couple days and they said, you know what? Let's make a video in Taiwan. I'm actually in Taipei. I've been enjoying the sights here. I went to Taipei 101, went to the Taipei Zoo, saw a lot of animals, even red pandas and a bunch of other animals, which was really cool. I think the Taipei Zoo is one of the best that I've been to thus far in my life. And of course I've eaten a lot of amazing food. Anyways, let's unbox this miner here that was sent to me from ASLMiner.com. I don't know exactly what it is. They just said, hey, there's a new solo lottery miner that we wanna send you. So, all right, I'm going to unbox it here. Let's do it. Let's cut it open here and let's see what it is. This, I'm actually very surprised that I was able to get this uh, from, I guess this was shipped out from Hong Kong. I'm in Taiwan and actually it came, it was shipped out and it literally delivered the next day. And actually I had DHL Taiwan contact me asking for more information because I'm not a Taiwanese resident. So they actually needed my passport. So I uploaded that via email just for customs clearance. And literally like another hour later, it cleared customs and it was shipping to my Air Airbnb. And I was very surprised it shipped to me that fast uh, through DHL here, but anyways, so let's see what I got here. Okay, so I have a Bidax Hex, 4.2 terahash, okay. A Bidax Hex, all right, is this a North American plug? Okay, so thankfully it is this plug, but I know in Taipei or where I am right now in Taiwan, they use type A and type B style plugs. This is a type B, I believe. So hopefully the Airbnb where I'm staying at has that. We're gonna plug that in today, of course. Okay, let's take this out. And, ooh, this actually looks pretty cool. Already has the 3D printed stand already. All right, look at this, a Bidax Hex. Okay, look at this. Just first impressions, I'm seeing two heat sinks here. Oh, it looks like we have the new, uh, that's a XT30 revision plug there at the top, so that's nice and well for power capacity, safety as well. I guess when potentially overclocking this thing, I'm assuming we can overclock this thing. And it's got a hefty heat sink on this thing. It definitely feels, I don't know if it's copper or aluminum, this fan on it. I don't know if this is a 60 or 80 millimeter. This does not look like 80 millimeter. This does not look like 40 millimeter. I'm gonna, is this a 60 mil? I wonder if this is loud. Okay, just turning it around here. We got a boot reset button. Is this like an SD card slot? No, nope, there's nothing there. We got an extra four pin fan port here, but it looks like it is kind of blocked by the screen here. Not really, it's still okay. Now, just let's look, look at the back here. All right, I don't see any plugs or ports on the back. I know on like the Bidax models or the Bidax Gammas, there was ports. I forgot what it was called, but you could plug something in on the back, like a LAN mod or something like that. Okay, and of course we got the laptop brick here. Here's the XT30 plug. All right, I'm gonna plug that in first here. Okay, and then we got the power cable. Okay, I need to find a place to plug this in. There is no place I can see right now where I can plug this in. So let me search for a spot. Okay, I got it plugged in. This Airbnb has North American type B plugs. Thank goodness. I did find type A plugs in this place as well, but thank goodness they do have this. So I can plug in the Supra. Hex. All right, this is actually called the Bidax Supra Hex 701. So this has six BM1368 Bitmain chips from I believe like a T21, S21, so on and so forth. Anyways, I got it mining. I used my phone to connect to it. And yeah, it's connected to ckpool.org and it's getting about what right now, according to the web GUI, 4.07 terahash. So it's expected is 4.4 and I do see it poolside as well. So it's just showing up there. According to my hash watcher app, it's at 4.2 terahash. That's what it's advertised. Temperature is 39 degrees Celsius. That's pretty good. You guys can see more of the uh, VR temperature there, 71 degrees Celsius. Power draws at 105. 
So it's not at the advertised, I believe 75 as to what is advertised, you know, for this minor 4.2 tera hash, 75 watts with 120 watt power supply that came with it. All right, so there is a bit more capacity on the laptop brick, which normally a lot of people switch out. But one thing I realized is that this is only $179. I guess with shipping, it's 247. So you're getting 4.2 tera hash at $247. So if you think about it, like a Bidax Gamma is like 1.2 tera hash, right? This is 4.2 tera hash. So you're getting like four times more hash rate or like two times less the price in a sense, if you look at it in that way. So I was just looking at like efficiency wise, the Bidax Super Hex, okay, uh, is about 17 to 19. And you know, like I say, I'm gonna over, I think I don't have a watt meter here. I'm gonna say I'm probably maybe medium 95 watts. So I'm at probably 22 watt per hash, but at this power consumption, efficiency really doesn't matter. But here's where the real value I think comes with this is that $247 all in from ASL Miner, the dollar per hash is $58 per tera hash. Now I'll have this Google Sheet linked down below so you guys can go check out Bitcoin solo tab down here. I have all the miners linked here as well as uh, all the affiliated links and coupons if you're interested, but yeah, I did some dollar per hash math here. So obviously, you know, Avalon Qs, all the bigger ones, all the bigger miners, Avalon Mini 3, you know, Flu Miner, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, these ones obviously use a lot more power, um, but of course the dollar per hash is gonna be much better on these bigger ones. But as we go down here, just looking at the Bidax Super Hex here, it beats pretty much all the other lottery miners out there in terms of dollar, uh, per hash. Okay, again, I'll have the sheet linked down below. You guys can review it yourself, copy it yourself. And so the dollar per hash is really good on the super hex if we were to compare it to the dollar per tera hash on this one. So yeah, this super hex seems to be doing pretty good. It's not overclocked. Actually, I was looking at the settings and it looks like it is overclocked, I guess, in the uh, Bidax AxOS software which uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna have a video talking about, I don't think this is quite open source because yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But just looking at the current version of firmware, it says at 2.7.0, TCH uh, all in one. All right, it says here, notice that hex and super hex should use our firmware. The Osmo firmware may not work for those models at this moment. All right, so yeah, maybe there might be some issue uh, using certain firmwares on this, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's solo mining. It does seem to be working. It is showing up on the pool on my side. I do like the 3d printed stand that comes with the super hex. I think that's adds a lot of value. You don't need to go out and buy, you know, most, I know I've seen some people buy, you know, alternative ones. I've seen like some giant squid one, which looked pretty cool. I think those are for the Bidax Gammas. But yeah, this is a neat, I guess, another lottery miner that's uh, out there. And for it to be able to get, you know, 4.4 tera hash, that's, that's pretty good. According to Hash Watcher, efficiency is 24 watt per hash, 105 watt power draw. Of course, I don't have the watt meter, so we can't really tell. Fan speed's at 100% already, so it's actually not loud. This fan, I have to say, is pretty good. It, there's a lot of airflow going up and below it actually more I would say more so below but there is a good amount coming from the top here so that's cooling the probably the power module and the VRM up here voltage regulator which obviously yeah it needs airflow I do see the two heat sinks right here so that's going to cool it down well all right my friends uh, let me know down below what you guys think of this and I'm going to give away like a like a month's worth of hash rate from this thing. Just comment down below. If you made it to the end of this video, the loyal viewers that are watching this, comment down below. I'll choose the winner soon when I get back from my trip here. And hopefully actually I can bring this back with me in my carry-on. I, can, I can't put electronics in suitcases. So hopefully this thing survives the trip <laughs> when I come back. Uh, looks like we're at, oh, five, look at that, five tera hash. Okay, my friends, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Again, if you're looking for one of these miners, go check out ASLminer.com. I have a link down below. You can use code RPMRPM for another $30 off on this Super Hex if you're interested. $247, uh, including shipping, everything all in if you are interested in this. Thank you to ASLminer.com. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.